Okay, real talk here. Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo Switch just got announced. And oh boy, we are excited. I'm excited. You're excited. Your grandma's excited. Heck, even Funimation is excited. The announcement of Super Smash Bros. for Switch is just like this. What you're seeing now is my normal state. This is a Super Saiyan. And this... This is what is known as a Super Saiyan that has ascended past a Super Saiyan. And this... Is... To go... Even further beyond! We are going further beyond and I cannot wait for Super Smash Bros. 5. I am so excited, I'm doing top 10 lists again because of this game. Oh boy, let's get to it. My top 10 Nintendo characters I want in Super Smash Bros. Switch. Here we go! Alright, so when you think the Super Mario franchise, you think of, of course the popular characters. You got your Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, you name it, um, they're popular Mario characters. However though, there is one Mario character that still hasn't made a debut in Super Smash Bros. Well, at least it's playable. You see this character is part of Peach's moveset, but you don't see him playable. You know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Toad. But not just any toad, not just any yellow toad, I'm talking about one specific toad. A toad that was worthy of his own game. A toad that is always on an adventure, finding treasure. I am talking about the one, the only, Captain Toad from Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. Oh man, man, Captain Toad I think would be awesome. Like, he would be an interesting character to see. A character that cannot jump is... It is an interesting mechanic, like, I can, well, Toad, Captain Toad cannot jump, right? And so I think what his jumps would be, will be like ascending on little platforms, right? And for some movesets that he can do, he can pluck turnips and throw them, of course, just like Peach does. He can, um, maybe summon Shy Guys and throw them too. Maybe he can throw a bit of treasure that he collects, of course he's got a pack pack full of it. So he can throw some treasure, and his final smash could be um, his axe, that awesome, awesome axe. You know, oh man, yeah. put Captain Toad in, Toad deserves a spotlight in Super Smash Brothers, so give some Toad some love, not just Toad, but Captain Toad. Alright, so for my number 9 character, we're looking at The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, I'll be honest, there's not, well, there's heaps of characters in Breath of the Wild, but there's not that many main characters in Breath of the Wild. So that means there's only a few handful of characters that I can really pick um, to be a Breath of the Wild rep. Um, and I am actually looking at the champions here. So, yes, let's have a look at the four champions. Is it champion number one? Nah, we already have a character with a big sword. Is it champion number two? Nah, we already have heaps of characters with bows and arrows. Is it champion number three? Oh jeez, we've seen a lot of sword and shield users in Smash Brothers. No, 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 it's in fact champion four, aka Mifa the Zora. I think she'd be awesome in Smash Brothers. Okay, so the reason why I chose Mifa is simply because of her sphere that she has. That awesome sphere, dagger, whatever you want to call it, staff is what gonna make her moveset. A long, a long distant moveset, kind of like, think of Korin, but not with a sword, but with a dagger, with a spear. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I wanted to see. I always wanted to see different type of characters using different type of unique weapons in Super Smash Brothers, and I think Mifa really fits the bill here. And let's be real, everyone liked the Zoras from um, Breath of the Wild, and I think uh, a Zora would be an interesting throw in in Super Smash Brothers, so yes, put in Mifa. I think she deserves a little spotlight this time around in Super Smash Brothers Switch. Oh yeah, you go Mifa.
Alrighty, so originally on my top 10 list I had the Inklings of course, and well it's a dead giveaway that the Inklings are in Super Smash Bros. Switch. Thank you Nintendo for making one of my characters on my top 10 already in the game. So I had to replace the Inklings with someone else. So, well, what could be better? What could be just as good as the Inklings? And honestly, you probably ain't gonna see this character on many people's top 10 lists except for mine, but uh, you know what? I'm all in for it. I am so excited for Splatoon 2 DLC. You know where I'm going on with this. I am talking about Octolings. That's right, I want the Octolings in Smash Brothers. More specifically, I want Agent 8. Yes, that's right. Agent 8 is my number 8 character in my top 10 for Super Smash Bros. Switch. Um, the reason why I want Agent 8 is because, well, we just got the Inklings and I think an Octoling to go against the Inklings would be awesome in Super Smash Bros. Switch. And of course, since, uh, since Platoon has so many weapons, so many sub-weapons, and of course, um, Agent 8 looks like by the trailers using a lot of the ultimate weapons and stuff like that they can make two diverse move sets based on splatoon and it would be cool to have two splatoon reps instead of one in super smash brothers let's be real here inkling boy and inkling girl will definitely share a spot on the roster heck even if they sh if the octolings share the spot on the roster heck if agent 8 is on the same spot as inklings and in inkling boy and inkling girl on the roster i will not complain so yeah throw in agent 8 in Super Smash Bros. Switch. Alright, so we're at number 7, and I'm excited for this one. I am very excited for this one. Remember how I said in Mifa I want to see more characters with unique items and weapons? Well, this is the same deal, and what's even more exciting about this, it's another character from Zelda! Yes! Another character from the Legend of Zelda franchise! And oh boy, I just... Oh, if I see this character in, I'll be so happy. So, so happy. I love this character to death. This character holds a little part of my heart. It's a character that I always wanted to happen and see in the Legend of Zelda franchise, and it happened. A female Link is a dream come true to many Zelda fans around the world. I am talking about Linkle. Yes, I want Linkle in Smash Brothers. She takes my number seven, and same deal, she has different weapons. She's got her Pegasus boots, she's got her crossbows. Yes, that is what adds a unique boost to Smash Brothers. And honestly, I think Linkle will really, really fit the bill for Super Smash Brothers. She's fun, she's unique. Heck, even if she is a palette swap of Link, I don't care if she's wielding the Master Sword or Hylian Shield. She is a female Link. Make her a palette swap, by all means. Make her a unique character, by all means. Put Linkle in Smash Brothers. She'll be so fun, she'll be so unique. Another female rep, and another awesome rep to join the Zelda franchise, and uh, well, I just would love to see Linkle in Super Smash Brothers. So yes, Nintendo, yes, Sakurai, Hyrule Warriors was so popular. It's getting a third version coming out for the Switch. And well, everyone loved Linkle, and I really want Linkle in too. So, put Linkle in Smash, she needs to happen. Oh boy! Alright, number six is an exciting one. Alright, I'm just gonna put this out there. Get rid of Dr. Mario. We do not need Dr. Mario. If we want Dr. Mario in Smash Brothers, Alright, I'm happy for him to be in Smash Brothers, but make him a palette swap of original Mario. That's all you need to do, and then you got two variations of Mario without wasting a character spot. Hopefully you get it right this time, Nintendo. Okay, but the reason why I'm talking about Mario specifically because, eh, I want a different Mario in the game, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have requested this character too, and I'm all for it. I'm talking about Paper Mario. That is right, Paper Mario would be so unique to original Mario and to Dr. Mario, like he uses his hammer as his main form of attacks. And he could use all of his upgrades that he used from Paper Mario, Paper Mario Bowser Year Door, um, stick Sticker Stars, uh, Super Paper Mario with the Pixies. Um, like honestly, yeah, Paper Mario would be fantastic in Super Smash Bros. and his ultimate can you summon a giant fan and blow people off the stage. His ultimate could be whatever. Um, I'm excited and I really would like to see Paper Mario in Super Smash Bros. Now that is a unique Mario. Not Dr. Mario, Paper Mario.
Hopefully we'll see you in. There is one thing that I didn't like about Smash Brothers Wii U and 3DS. The amount of Fire Emblem characters in the game. Far out. That just overkilled other popular franchise that's in um, Super Smash Brothers, such as Star Fox, Donkey Kong, Legend of Zelda. It beat Zelda! What the heck? <laughs> like, fair enough, Pokemon beats Zelda, but Fire Emblem beating Zelda? Sorry, no, 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 that cannot happen. Zelda has to be higher than Fire Emblem in my opinion. And that's the reason why I want another Zelda rep in the game. Now, Zelda is awesome, but what kind of characters can you think? Of course, you've got Link, you've got Zelda, you've got Ganondorf, you've got Toon Link, and you've got Sheik, which is your main five characters that you do see in the Zelda franchise, as well in Super Smash Bros. Thanks to Hyrule Warriors, there is many other characters now that we can add from the Zelda franchise. Previously, I mentioned Mifa and Linkle, but for my top Zelda pick, I really want another Wind Waker rep. I want another Toon rep. It is Tetra from The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Tetra would be badass. Instead of adding Toon Zelda, you don't want another clone. You don't need another clone. So we don't need Toon Zelda. But by having Tetra, would throw in a unique character. You know what I mean? A character that focuses on bombs, a character that focuses on using pirate swords, a character that relies on the grappling hook, the char a character that uses the deco leaf. You know what I mean? Like, and that's what Tetra can do because, well, it's Wind Waker. We, we are promoting Wind Waker with this character. We've got Toon Link, which is an awesome Wind Waker rep, but we don't need two Links almost doing the same thing and we don't need two Zeldas almost doing the same thing. I'm really hoping that Breath of the Wild Link is going to be different actually. Separates Link and Toon Link if you know what I mean. Um, but if they do that with Tetra, if they add Tetra in, of course Tetra is not going to be a Zelda clone. Tetra is going to be Tetra and that's the reason why I want Tetra in Super Smash Bros. Switch. And oh boy, the final smash would be awesome. It would be just summoning a ship and going bombs away. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you know you like it. All right, number four. This is when the list is going to get interesting. Number four, we're looking at Nintendo's newest IP, ARMS. But let's be real here. If we're going to add an ARMS rep, it is going to be the main faces of ARMS, which is Springman and Ribbon Girl. Now, those are the default characters of ARMS, they're the, the faces of ARMS, they're the most simplified characters in ARMS. But I can't stand Springman, he's just dull, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys agree with me. He's just a simple character, like, there's nothing too exciting about him. But I can imagine him being in the game because, well, he's the mascot, you know what I mean? So is Ribbon Girl. That's the reason why I want both of them in. In the same spot on the roster. That is right, I want both Springman and Ribbon Girl. I cannot, fa I cannot deny it, but Springman is going to be in Smash Switch. But I don't want to be just Springman. I want it to be Ribbon Girl as well. Because Ribbon Girl is more exciting, more energetic. She's a singer. She's got a background. She's got a story behind her. Springman apparently just woke up with springy arms and he says this is totally rad. You know what I mean? There's nothing exciting about Springman, but Ribbon Girl is so much more exciting. So, and I cannot deny it. Yes, Springman is going to be in the game. And that's the reason why he's on the list. But... I want Ribbon Girl over Spring Man. So, Nintendo, if you're listening to me, put Ribbon Girl over Spring Man. If you're going to put Spring Man in, that's fine as long as Ribbon Girl shares the same spotlight. So, there you guys go. Arms for Smash Brothers. Spring Man, Ribbon Girl for Smash Brothers. They take my number four spot on the list. Okay. So we're finally hitting the top three. My top three characters didn't get into Super Smash Bros. Wii U, and I really want them in so badly. So, well, let's let's continue on with the list. Number three is an unexpected character, but it is a character that featured as an assist trophy in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. That's right, this character appeared in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, but was not playable, right? And honestly, I think 
this character or characters I should say is amazing and I think they will make an awesome duo combination just like the Ice Climbers. I am talking about Cat and Anna from WarioWare. Now come on, two kindergarten girls with katanas, no ninjutsu, throws ninja stars, knows how to use swords, that is just badass. You know what I mean? Like seriously, that is awesome. We already know what their final smash can be thanks to the assist trophy and brawl and I just, well, I think there would be another awesome combination character. Re I really do want Cannon Anna in. I do feel like WarioWare does need some more love in the Super Smash Brothers, and I don't think Wario is enough. Wario needs a rep. Um, yes, I want Cat and Anna in Super Smash Brothers. They'd be so unique, they'd be so fun, and they'll rival the Ice Climbers. So yeah, bring them in. All right. Number two, I absolutely love this character with all my love and passion. My favorite character of all time in any video game, in any cartoon, in any form of fiction ever. This is my favorite character of all time and that's the reason why she's so high on my list. She's just a personal preference guys, but don't get angry. It is Princess Daisy from Super Mario. Now, reason why I want Daisy in so bad is just as much as you guys want Waluigi in so bad. Think about it, we're down to the last three major characters to add in Super Smash Bros. from the Mario franchise. That is Toad, Waluigi, and Daisy. They're the last three major Mario characters that can get in Super Smash Bros. So complete it Sakurai, complete it Nintendo. Add the three characters in. Add Toad, add Daisy, add Waluigi, make every fan happy, right? Again, like what I mentioned before, even if it's a palette swap, at least get the character in. At least make the announcer say it's Daisy. At least make it sound like Daisy. At least make it act like Daisy, even if it's just a costume of Peach. Anyway, I am ranting. I am ranting big time. I definitely do want Daisy in Super Smash Bros, but I think she could be completely unique based on the sport games of course, more specifically, Mario Strikers Charge. Her um, standard B attack would be charging the soccer ball, the longer the hold, the stronger the kick, the uh, up B would be the teleport, the side B will be a slide tackle which is the most epic part. If a slide tackle makes contact with an enemy holding a weapon, you steal the weapon just like a slide tackle would. So amazing, I can see that happening. Down special will be Crystal Smash. And the final smash, of course, is the lethal Mega Strike attack. Daisy can be unique, and I really want her in Smash Brothers. Doesn't have to be the Strikers form, but at least put her in. At least add the characters that people want in. Playable in some way, shape, or form. You can do it, Nintendo. You can do it, Sakurai. I believe in you guys. Now for my number one. This character is well requested. It's been requested since Brawl! Brawl! That's right, that's how far this character's been requested. And I still want this character in so badly. Far out. Brawl frustrated me with a three character clone set of Fox, Falco, and Wolf. You know what character I'm talking about. You know what character I want in. It is Crystal from Star Fox. Crystal will be so unique. Looking back to number nine, Mifa, same reason. She's got that staff. That staff is gonna make all the difference to the Smash Brothers roster. Her standard B attack, the fire shot. Her side B attack, the frost blaster. The up B attack, the rocket jump. Her down B can be parry or reflector. Her final smash could be jumping on the pterodactyl, shooting fireballs like at the start of Star Fox Adventures. Come on! Crystal is perfect for Smash Brothers. Add her in, Nintendo. Add her in, Sakurai. We need more Star Fox love. And, oh my god. Add Crystal into Super Smash Bros. Nintendo. We really need her. I really need her. I really need all of these characters in. But, I cannot stress enough. Uh, these are the characters I want, and I cannot, well, I hope, and I pray, and I've been praying since Brawl for most of these characters to be in Super Smash Bros. But, Crystal, Daisy, and Katanana have been up there as my top choices since Brawl, and I just want them so badly. They'll be so unique. Please see my points, Nintendo. Please see my points, Sakurai. You can do it. I know you can. 
don't let us down. So there you guys go. That is my top 10 characters for Super Smash Bros. for Switch. But what are your top 10 characters? Please leave a comment below. If you like my top 10, give it a little like, support the channel, and stay tuned. I will come with a new list of my top requested third party characters. So without further ado, this is the perfect time to end this episode off. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Ninsta Rose, and I'll see you in the next one. And you guys stay way past cool. I'm excited, I'm hyped! Smash Brothers is still coming to Switch! Regardless! Just please put my characters in, please! <laughs>